Today, I'm just gonna be talking about my micro lock hair goals for 2023. If that sounds good, just keep watching this video. Everything they say, I understand. Y'all, like um, this might end up being like one of the most chillest videos I've ever done. First, let me say, there is like a whole tornado going on outside. She don't like to be alone when there's thunder and rain. Excuse any odd noises that you hear from Molly because I'm sure she will make weird noises. There are some things that I would like to do differently than last year or just try to improve on in my micro lock journey. So I came up with a list and I want to share it with you guys. First thing I have on my list as one of my goals is to do more styles. Now, I am honestly not a big style person. I just wake up in the morning, shake my hair and go. But I wanted to challenge myself creatively because I also do like to create different looks and just try out different things. So that is something that I think would be pretty neat just to see what I come up with or what I end up liking. And you know, you really wouldn't know unless you try, but I think that I really like hairstyles with like a high bun or a high ponytail or something like that. Just really playful, kind of like my Pisces personality. It just kind of matches. So I like stuff like that. I don't want to go overboard because I also don't want to do things that are too tight for my hair or things that may cause any thinning. Another thing I would like to do is try some color. Now, do y'all hear how this thunder is coming down? I think color would be kind of cool, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm too scared to do a dye. I haven't did like a dye in my hair since I was in high school and y'all, I'm almost 30 now. So I'm just scared to do like a permanent dye cause I'm scared my hair might break off. My locks might start to thin. Now I could be absolutely wrong. It could be perfectly fine, but I'm just, petrified so I think if I do do something I'll have to try to find a way that's not so damaging in my opinion I do want to play with color but I also don't want to like get rid of the actual hair color I have because I like my hair color I'm gonna see how I'm gonna end up doing that another thing on my list and this is a big one is to strive to use all natural hair products last year I think that was last year I tried to find ways to incorporate natural products into my lock journey because I kind of feel like there's like a pressure to have certain products or use certain products or buy certain products. Honestly, I started this micro lock journey because I wanted to be free of all the product buying and feeling dependent on products from companies and stuff. I like to make my own stuff and I was doing that with my natural hair anyway. So I wanted to try to find ways to incorporate more natural ingredients back into my hair. That's why I use the flaxseed gel now instead of the other gel I was using whenever I do my retize. So far, I am really loving how that's going. Also been doing the aloe vera spray it makes my scalp feel so good i don't feel bad experimenting with natural products stuff like that i'm just all for it really another thing on my list is to get better at retying my micro locks i'm getting faster because when i first started i feel like it took me a week it might have actually taken me a full week or like five days to do my retie. Now, some things have changed since then. Like my hair in the root area isn't merging together as much. Now it's like barely an issue. I also am almost eight months into this lock journey. But in the beginning, don't get me started. I think it's taken me like three days or so to do my whole head. And that is like me excessively taking a long time each and every day to retie my hair. I want to get quicker. If I could get it down to two days, two days, two days, two days would be good. I'm okay with three days too, because in the bigger scheme of things, when I think about the fact that I don't actually do my hair every day, like I just do it these two, three days and I'm good for another two months. Well, two months if I stretch it, but I'm good for about two months. You know, it's a little give and take. Them two to three days ain't bad, but if I get it down to two days or just get faster or get, you know, get more proficient. You know, you wanna get more proficient at whatever skill you're doing. So the speed is one of those things that's gonna come with me being more proficient and more experienced. I'm all for it. Sometimes I be feeling like I need to call a loctician because I'll be tired. <laughs> I'll be tired, y'all. I'll be over it. Another thing that's like high on my list, but I really don't even know to start. I would like to get a real silk pillowcase. I've been wanting a real silk pillowcase for some years now, and I'll look up reviews for different companies and their silk pillowcases, and I just don't be impressed. I'm scared to get something that's not real silk. I do read reviews and stuff, so I'll see people say things like, this isn't real silk. I know what real silk feels like, and 
real silk doesn't do this and real silk doesn't do that. I don't know because I don't really have experience with silk to know what's what. I do wear a satin bonnet at night and I love my satin bonnet, don't get me wrong. There are times that I would just like maybe to lay on my pillow without my bonnet. Not only that, when you have a silk pillowcase, it's also good for your face and like your products that you put on your face and just keeping that moisture in. So I want it for a few different reasons, <laughs> but I don't know where to get one. So if you guys know of a good silk pillowcase company where I can get one, just drop it down in the comments. Another thing on my list is just trying to keep lint in my hair to a minimum. I do take time every day to just look in my hair to see if there's any lint in there. I actually put my hair towards the front of my head and kind of look for lint before I go to sleep or before I end my day. That is one thing that I want to make sure that I keep doing because I think I'm doing really good with keeping things out of my hair. The one thing that I do get in my hair the most is her hair. I just want to make sure I keep her hair and the lint out of my hair as I continue my microlock journey. I love her to death, but I don't want her hair in my microlocks. <laughs> the next goal on my list is to listen more to my hair. What I mean by that is, I think a lot of times we get caught up in a routine, right? And it's like, okay, in X amount of time, I need to do this. In X amount of time, I need to do that. While I think that that is good because it kind of gives you a general idea of when you need to do something, I also feel like in those periods in between, if your hair needs care, that you, you know, you gotta listen to your hair. I try to get better at this myself because I even feel like I get caught up in doing things in a routine manner. And everything doesn't need to be in a routine manner if you see something needs to be taken care of right away and you can. For example, with me, I try to wash my hair like once a week. Some weeks I might need to wash it twice a week. And then there's other weeks where I could get away with a week and a half because my scalp just isn't dirty. Maybe I switched up something and something is working for me or maybe something isn't working for me and I need to, you know, do something different. And that's what I mean. Just kind of going with the flow and just making the observation and doing what's needed as it comes and not just being like, oh, it's not at this time, so I'm not gonna do that. I feel like when you listen to your hair and just give it what it needs, it'll be okay. And that's what I want to make sure that I do more, just to keep my hair healthy. Another goal that I have is to try to fill in this bald spot that is in the back of my head where my alopecia is pretty bad at. Now this bald spot has just been here for years at this point. It has got better, don't get me wrong. But it's not all the way filled in. I don't know if it ever will be all the way filled in. But a goal that I have is just to do my best to try to keep the hair healthy around that area. Maybe it'll grow back. I don't know. Um, but it would be nice if it does. If not, then, you know, I've kind of already come to terms with it and accepted that I do have you know, some bald spots and it just kind of is what it is. I want to try to get better at stimulating that area and giving it some blood flow. Uh, I try to make sure I do scalp massages, but sometimes I forget. And um, I think that it definitely helps. I have come a long way with that spot. So I am still really happy and I'm really blessed. I'm going to try to show it. I hope that y'all can see this because I don't know if I'm in the frame. But this is my spot. lean this way just in case all right y'all that's my spot kind of is what it is interesting thing to me is i get a lot of comments saying your hair is so beautiful or i'm so jealous or i'm so this or so that i wish i had hair like yours i'm always truly flattered and appreciative of the compliments i get about my hair and things like that. The reason I wanna point this out is because most people wouldn't know that I had this issue or I've been battling this issue for years. They wouldn't know that, you know, I had to get injections in the back of my head for years and they didn't work. There's a whole journey behind that that people really wouldn't know just looking at my hair because, you know, it's, it's full and it's thick and you really wouldn't know it's there until I lift up the back. Now the train coming. What is up today? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Can't wait to get out of this country town. But yeah, a lot of people just wouldn't even know. This just goes to show that you really don't know what anybody is facing or what challenges that they've had to overcome. Mind you, even what I show in the front of my hair, like this area here and here, 
it was bald. There was nothing there. The message I really want to share with people is a lot of times in life, it will feel like looking at somebody or something for what it is right now, it's just like, oh, it's so great and it's amazing. And yeah, while it could be, I think a lot of times we as people kind of forget that there's a journey. We really don't know what it took for somebody or something to get where they are or achieve whatever they have achieved. And um, I think that my hair also speaks for that as well because you it, it really is a journey to a lot of people you know they appreciate the beauty that they see now they don't know there has been nights that i cried about it there is nights i've been in pain about it like physical pain and there were days that i just struggled with the fact that i didn't like what i saw when i looked in the mirror not feeling beautiful or feeling like i need to hide myself from the world because maybe the world won't accept the condition that I'm in. You know, generally people don't expose their flaws. So I always felt like at that time that I was kind of in a vulnerable state and, you know, just trying to hide my vulnerability. Sometime in life, just embracing those flaws can help somebody else. So that's actually one of the reasons why I made this channel in the first place, because I wanted to share that. So to me, there was still good that came out of that, but I still would like to see some hair growth in there, just kind of see what I can do, what I can achieve. We'll see. <laughs> All I can do is take it one day at a time. Next on my list is just embracing every stage of my lock journey. I already feel like I'm doing this, but I want to keep doing this as my locks mature. Currently, I don't feel like there's any stage that I'm like rushing to get to. I'm happy every stage that I'm at when I'm in that stage. I see the changes, I see the growth, I see the different textures, I see the body, I see the fullness. Some days it don't look as good as others, but you know, I see it and I appreciate it. I appreciate those days and I appreciate the days where I'm like, whoa, wow. I appreciate the good days, I appreciate the bad days because they're all part of this journey. When I look at my hair, it is literally like a story, <laughs> it's like, a story of evolution. You know, I just have to keep pushing on and you know, the more I push on, the more, you know, story is telling, you know? I think that that is so cool. I'm not just embracing my hair on this journey. I'm embracing the things about myself, you know, learning more things about myself. As my hair is maturing, so am I. You know, I'm making changes in my personal life too. I'm growing as a person. I'm becoming more patient. I'm learning new things, seeing new things about myself that maybe I didn't see before or things that I didn't recognize were there. It's like having many journeys within themselves. So it is really cool. Comment down below. Is there any goals in 2023 that you absolutely just want to crush and dominate? I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have a lock playlist after this video. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.